Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are trying out, yes I know, another reanimator list. Uh, I, I have a soft spot for reanimator decks, I'm sorry, we're gonna try it out again. Uh, today though, we're going a little bit of like a combo-y route. Uh, I know kind of reanimator inherently is a little bit combo-y, but uh, this more than ever uh, is really, really looking to combo off and it is probably the most convoluted reanimator combo you could imagine. Uh, the original name for this deck, uh, I did not create it, unfortunately I don't remember who did, but uh, was Death by a Thousand Cuts, which I think is very interesting, it's very funny, uh, and the reason being is the, the point of this deck is to get a Zoni uh, Thousand Eyed out uh, from the graveyard, and when you do, uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 black, black and green insect creature token for each creature card in your graveyard. Uh, which is good, right? Like you get a bunch of creatures out. This this deck has a number of creatures, so it's going to get some of them out. Uh, but what's even better than that is doubling that up with Yarok. Uh, so now instead of getting, you know, five creatures, maybe, or yeah, five creatures, maybe you get 10 creatures, right? Uh, and so that, that feels really, really good. But what's even better than that is getting a Yara uh, out on the battlefield and then getting all this stuff out. So uh, whenever this or another black creature, which obviously these tokens are, uh, enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So now not only do you get doubled the triggers off of this because of Yarok, but you get even more triggers off of it because you're getting double the tokens as well. So that's kind of the point of the deck. The whole thing is built around a little bit of ramp, but mostly just graveyard interaction uh, to kind of help you get to where you need to be. Uh, in looking at this list, I feel like there's a couple cards that we could consider, but we'll talk about those more after, uh, because I do think, you know, it's always important to see what kind of cards maybe we could have in the deck, but, uh, to look at this on the onset, we've got the Secret Keepers here as a big wall in the beginning of the game, but also a way to get some cards into the graveyard. Uh, Meyer Triton gains us a couple life, but also, again, puts a couple cards in the graveyard, and then Glowspore Shaman also puts three cards in your graveyard, and then you could put a land from your graveyard on top of your deck, so it does make us uh, or help us hit our land drops. Uh, speaking of land drops, Uro is in here to help us hit those as well as Growth Spiral, both cards that draw and then let us put a land out uh, to hopefully get to you know our big reanimator or Yarok spells very very quickly. Uh, Lazatep planing, uh, plating, excuse me, uh, a mass one and then uh, you and permanency control get hexproof until the end of the turn. Uh, very very good against a lot of different decks. It's only two mana which is great uh, but not only that uh, the Amass one is very, very key for this deck because one of our reanimator spells is Blood for Bones. In fact, the one that we have more of is Blood for Bones, uh, which does require us to sacrifice a creature and then we return a creature card from the battlefield uh, or from the graveyard to the battlefield and then you can turn another one to your hand. Uh, and so it's really, really nice to be able to, you know, amass one, uh, use that as the sacrifice. That way you don't lose out on any of your, you know, more important spells. Uh, the other reanimator spell here is Concoct. Uh, surveil 3, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Really, really nice because it not only fuels its own uh, reanimation target, but uh, it just gets you very, very powerful stuff. So the idea here, obviously, is to get ideally one of these or maybe a, a Yara uh, if need be. Uh, and then again, the rest of the pieces here <clears throat> are all pretty much combo pieces. A Yara here. Uh, really, really helps us gain some life, but also deal some life, uh, or deal some damage. Yarok doubles up on everything, essentially. And then, of course, his Oni, uh, drawing, or, or, excuse me, creating a lot of creature tokens. Uh, we are only running 24 lands, uh, which does make it a little bit tricky with the Grow Spirals as well as the Uros. But, again, we've got things like Glow Spore Shaman to help us get those back on top of our deck. Uh, and so you can see the split here, one island, three swamps, two forests, we are pretty heavy black, uh, three Temple of Deceit, as well as three Temple of Malady, <coughs> excuse me, and then the full gambit of Shocklands in these colors. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, I only playtested this once or twice, uh, but I really enjoyed it. I think it's a fun deck. Um, I'm not necessarily going to say it's going to win every match, but or every game, but it is a very, very fun one. So hopefully we can see it do its thing. Uh, that's certainly the goal. Uh, let's see. 
What do we have? Ooh, this is a bit rough, uh, if I'm honest. This does not seem amazing. If we have a green source, we can get there with that. Uh, I think we're going to take a mulligan there. Okay, we will keep this. Uh, and I think we'll just put one of these grow spirals back. Uh, probably go ahead and lean on the temple here. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to put us a turn off on the secret keeper. But, you know, that's okay. Ooh. This is a rough matchup, in my opinion. Um, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. Uh, on the top, we draw it, which really doesn't help us all that much. Um, we don't really want to draw it. So ideally, we'd like to get that into the graveyard. Um, sure. All right. So what do we want to do? Um... Let's go ahead and secret keep. No, I don't like that. I feel like that's very mana inefficient. Um, so let's do this, and then let's just do this. Let's gain a couple life. Get a death toucher out there. That just makes it... It's something that they're going to have to deal with. Uh, they can swing in if they'd like, but I'm more than happy to kind of trade off this Mire Triton for an early Flourishing Fox just to conserve our life total. Um... And the Dranith Healer, you know, it's going to be healing him up pretty well here, but that's actually fine. It doesn't really matter as much. Uh, the Flourishing Fox is really our problem card. Uh, we just don't want to uh, be taking tons and tons of damage off of that. Um, Zenith Flare, always a problem in these decks. Certainly not looking for that. Uh, that's interesting because that is a card that they could actually deal with this. Uh, I'm just going to take the two. I'm going to make him spend a card on it. Um... Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and mill four. Uh, see what we get. Unfortunately, oh, there's a. Okay, so that's a piece of the puzzle now in the graveyard, which is fantastic. And then let's go ahead and grow spiral here. Let's draw a card. Let's go ahead and put this out. Um, just to we're we're trying to get up to that very crucial five mana. <clears throat> five mana very very important in this list because. That's our concoct mana. So now, you know, if we do happen to draw this, we can just kind of do it. We can just go for it. Um, yep, and this is this is what I'm talking about. They do have to fight it off, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, and then next turn, we'll see what we can do. But hopefully we can get something really, really nice. Uh, a reanimation spell would be great. Specifically concoct. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get there, but that's okay. Um... Let's drop this, and we'll just go ahead and drop this as well. All right, let's see if we can get there, guys. Very cool card in this list. Improbable Alliance is very interesting. Wow, they just cycled a Triome land. Uh, all right, well, we're going to be taking some. Um, Blood for Bones. Now this is what we're talking about. This is what we need. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get that into the graveyard. Go ahead and put this out. Um, we will say we'll take this uh, because we do kind of need a, a target here um, to be able to, to block the Flourishing Fox. So I do think that that's quite important. Um, all right, and we'll attack here. Um, we do have to finish them off at some point. Uh, every point of damage is going to help that. And now, you know, we can just block here. Like, it's not great, but it's fine. Um, and now we've got a little bit more life gain in hand uh, to kind of help us get to where we need to be. Uh, if they do destroy one of our creatures, that one of these big creatures, uh, specifically Ayara, that definitely sucks, uh, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Um we're just going to block here. Save ourselves six. They're now pinging for, you know, one. Um, obviously, that's going to grow, but <clears throat> the idea is that's not going to do us too much harm, at least. Um, let's just go ahead and Uro here. See what we get. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Um, we'll put that on the bottom. We're not super interested in that. Uh, okay, and 
Let's go ahead and attack with these two. Uh, again, we're going to leave back some blockers here because we really aren't looking to um, to lose just off of like a burn spell. Sorry if we're dropping some frames here, by the way. <clears throat> um, and we kind of got to see it do its thing. It wasn't as amazing as it could have been, but um, we did get a few creature spells here. We did get to ping, uh, or excuse me, drain for some damage, which was nice as well. Uh, and that is what this deck is looking to do. Um, now they have to be careful about what they attack with. They can only attack with so much here. All right. All right, we got it. Uh, didn't really think they would concede that quickly, uh, but that's fine. We got there. Heck yes. That is what this deck is looking to do. Um, this might be the first three animator deck that actually worked game one, so that's a plus. Uh, <laughs> let's jump into game two, guys. Uh, just want to mention for everybody, uh, the Acoria Bundle giveaway is still uh, going on. We're going to be choosing our winner uh, in two days uh, on Saturday, June 6th. So uh, if you're interested, please do uh, sub or subscribe to the channel, comment on any video with Acoria Bundle. Uh, we do need to go through and kind of, excuse me, make sure that we've got everybody uh, entered in our spreadsheet there. But uh, the plan is we'll be picking our winner on Saturday. Uh, very, very excited to be giving away another Acoria bundle uh, and really do want to say thank you to everybody for um, for supporting our channel. It means really a lot. Uh, this is an interesting keep, by the way. It's a bit uh, rampy, but that's kind of what we want with the Yarok in hand, so I'm fine with that. Um, uh, let's go ahead. We'll lean on the Temple of Deceit here. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Uh, it's not an amazing card in this, given this particular hand where we're not going to have too many permanents. Looks like we may be against. Oh no, it's I was thinking cyclers again, but it looks like that is not the case. Let's go ahead and do this, and we'll just uh, we'll just keep a ramp in here. Let's get Temple of Malady down. Um, do we want that? Uh, hmm. You know, I kind of think in a weird way we do, but I think we're more looking for reanimation targets, so we'll, we'll scry that to the bottom. Um, let's see what the opponent wants to do. They're going to be equipping up their healer's hawk. All right, we're going to be taking some damage here for sure. Uh, Ayara is going to be very, very handy, I think, this game. Um Uh, let's put that out tapped. We'll just go ahead and Uro here. Um, I think we definitely need to conserve our life total and just continue to uh, gain a little bit of life, but we also need that. Meyer Triton, for instance, isn't really going to do anything in this particular instance. This is great because it gets us the triple black that we need for our Yara. Um, and again, we're going to put that on the bottom. Um, and so now, next turn, we can Yarok. Uh, and then maybe Meyer Triton on the following turn or Ayara or, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, but liking it, liking it. Um, definitely going to be taking a pretty big hit here. I'm assuming from this healer's Hawk, uh, this looks like the, yeah, the mono white kind of aggressive aggro deck. Um, very, very strong deck. We played that last week, I want to say. Um, and it certainly was a, was a beating. There's no doubt about that. Um, one thing I will say though, this deck, uh, in terms of with Luris at the helm is not going to be very prevalent in the near future, um, obviously. So let's see what we can do here. Um, hmm. Can't quite play Uro. Uh, we could potentially play it, I suppose, right? No, we couldn't quite get there. Um, hmm. I kind of just want to play out Yarok here and see where we get. Um, not 100% sure we're really going to get there with this, uh, but it's certainly worth a shot. Whoops. And we'll throw a Breeding Pool out tapped uh, so so as not to take that two damage. Um, also, I just want to mention our new Patreon rewards are available this month. Uh, very excited about this month, too. We've had two killer months in a row uh, in terms of Patreon rewards. Wow, voice crack. Ooh, very good. Um, in terms of Patreon rewards, we have had a couple really, really good runs. We've gotten uh, this month Force of Negation, which is a beautiful card. 
Uh, Vivian, Monster's Advocate, which again is a really, really awesome card. Uh, and then what was the last one? Oh, Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. Um, definitely a bit of a problem. I think we kind of have to do this first. I don't love this. Um, it's double triggers, which is nice, but unfortunately there's just nothing we can really do about this. We don't have anything to, to block it. Um, can do this and then do this, but we're not going to gain enough. Um, oh goodness. I don't think we're going to get there. Um, this is really nice though. I mean, you can see the power level of a deck where, you know, we, we gain a good bit of life back. I will say that. Um, I think honestly, we might just be missing. I mean, if we had a removal spell or excuse me, a reanimation spell and one more turn, we would be in amazing shape. Uh, but unfortunately we obviously don't, um, we can attack here. I mean, but I assume they get to give it indestructible or something and that's fine. Uh, the idea here is we need to gain three life. Oh, protection. Okay. So then do we even deal our three damage? I don't believe we do. Yeah. All right. I am going to go ahead and concede. Chances are, I mean, with three cards in hand, as well as a Lurus, uh, they either have a land or they've got the uh, cards they need. So not going to worry about it. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our last game of the video. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. This is, I do think, a very, very fun deck. Um, I don't think it's, you know, it's not tier one necessarily, but I do think it's very fun to, to try out new stuff. And these reanimator lists are very, very fun. Um, <clears throat> uh, keep in mind as well, if you've got a deck suggestion, uh, we've got great ways for you to, interesting, great ways for you to, uh, to, to put those in either the comment section or we've got discord, uh, as we've got a little channel dedicated to it there. Uh, so if you're interested, we certainly would appreciate it. Uh, let's do this and we're gonna, we're gonna mill ourselves. Hitting almost entirely lands, nothing of any use. Uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, and I think that's, uh, I honestly think that's a bit of the struggle with this list is I don't think it's optimally set up, uh, is what I will say. Um, don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's optimally set up. Uh, so I think there's a bit of work that needs to be done there, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Ayara, look at there. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. I kind of think we just do this. Um, let's pay to, and let's go ahead and get the secret keeper out as well. Uh, we're not going to attack. We're going to leave these up as blockers. Um... Let's see what we can get to. Worth noting, if we just get to the mana that we need for a Zoni uh, Thousand Eye, that's also very, very good. So um, we do have the Uro to help us get there, uh, but we'll we'll see what we can get. Um, let's go ahead and mill four. This is much more of a mill heavy uh, hand for sure. Uh, unfortunately. Really, I think what would have been actually correct is just to Uro there. Um, I think that was a bit of a misplay. Uh, only because we really, really need to hit some land drops here. So I think that was that was incorrect, but that's okay. Um, worth noting, what would we have drawn? One, two, three, four. We would have drawn a, Yar a Yarok anyway. Wow, voice cracking like crazy. Um, all right. Well, let's see what they're going to do. Uh, the problem is Tamaret just means they get to exile a bunch of crap. Uh, so that's not very helpful. Yep. Um, let's do this first, uh, in case it's a land that we can actually get out. Yeah. All right. Well, nope. All right. See what we can do. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately not getting there too well, but again, um, you know, if we hit our lands, we're in a good board stall position and I do think we've got a higher chance of going a little bit more ham, uh, than they do. 
Uh, we'll we'll get rid of this plating. Uh, don't think it's the card we want here. Uh, Meyer Triton is a phenomenal card at just blocking. Uh, it is really truly great. Uh, let's do this and let's go ahead and do this. This is going to double up our Uro token if we need to, or our Uro triggers uh, if we need it to, which is great. Uh, Yarok, truly a fantastic card. Always loved Yarok. I tried to build so many decks around him that were really not good. <laughs> Murderous Rider, sure. Uh, sorry for the frame drop here, guys. Uh, the one good thing I will say is they are not hitting their land drops, and so they're having to choose whether or not they use Tamaret or, uh, you know, play something from their hand. So I think that we're doing okay in that regard. We're getting a little lucky, if I'm honest. Uh, land, okay. Uh, we can just go for this, uh, though I will say... In this context, I don't know that it's the best. Um, do we do this, though? Let's see how many creatures. One, two, three. We get three. You know what? I'm going to Uro. Um, that might be wrong, but I just I don't think that uh, doing this for just three is really all that fantastic. Now this gives us the option of like pulling back something a little exciting, so we'll we'll see. We will see. Um, unfortunately, we can't even replay Uro because like from our graveyard just because we don't have the right lands. <laughs> um, yeah, makes sense. Um, and yes, I know that we're gonna be losing, you know, triggers with the Tamaret in play, but. It is what it is. I think we gotta. We'll do the best we can. Um, so we can do this, and then we can blood for bones. I think that's probably correct right now. <clears throat> um, we'll put a watery grave on top. That's good. Uh, let's do this. We'll sacrifice one of these guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I think we're just going to get a Yara here. Um, what do we want to put in our hand is the question. Not a lot, honestly. Um, we can't submit zero. Hmm. I guess we'll do uh, Uro just so we can get uh, just so we can get a land or something on the battlefield. <laughs> now, a Yara on our side of the field does mean that we have, you know, at least some way to poke through some damage. Uh, they've had one on their side of the field for quite a while, but it's not doing much. They finally hit their fourth land, so that's good for them. Um, but we'll see what we can we can manage to shake out this coming turn. It's a bit of an unexciting game, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a whole lot's happening. Uh, but they can activate Tamaret like twice now, can't they? And they choose not to. Oh, Nyx Lotus. Okay, that makes sense. So now they're going to have all the mana in the world. <clears throat> yep, yep. Uh, watery Grave. Yeah, we knew that. Um, let's just do this now. It's only for three, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, and we'll, we'll do this. Um, no attacks, right? No. This turn's going to be pretty brutal, I'm guessing. Um, considering they've got all the mana in the world. They can exile our graveyard, essentially. That's very good. Uh, in this situation, it's very good. Because they've got 12 mana. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Yeah. They just get to, like, sweep. That would be really annoying. 
And this is where I think they're going to start taking over here. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's really good. Wow. Sure. Gray Merchant, man, coming in clutch. This is a bit of a slow start for a deck like this, but my goodness, that was good. Um, Yeah. Pretty sure we're going to lose it. <laughs> in fact, I'm positive we're going to lose it. Um, They're at 42. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. All right. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get there on those last two games. Um, I don't know. Thoughts on the deck so far? I do think it's fun. It's a bit slow, uh, and that's okay. But we'll uh, we'll give it another three games. Hopefully, this is not uh, at the level of bad that I thought uh, or that I feel some of our other past decks have been, and that's good. Uh, but I do love to, you know, try out new things and just see what we can get. So this is a fun one. Uh, we'll jump into another three games here in just a few minutes. Uh, so hopefully that video will be up for you guys very soon after this one. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please, of course, make sure to leave a like or a comment. Make sure to enter the giveaway and check out all the links in the description below. We'd certainly appreciate it. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in part two with this Sultai Azuni, Azoni reanimator list. I'll see you then.